Next, we're going to hear from Barney Frazier. <clears throat> Some of y'all probably know Barney. He lives right here in Charleston on a beautiful outcropping up off of Mount Alpha Road. Shortly after Barney built his house, um, Keystone Industries, the same company that recently got this permit to blow up the mountain across the street from Canal State Forest, started mining behind his house. Um, and and um, Maria mentioned that this isn't just Boone County and Raleigh County, and this has spread over the years, and uh, it's come very, very close to us here in Charleston, and Barney can attest to that, and uh, <clears throat> I'll just let him tell his story. Come on up. Thank you, Chad, very much. My name is Barney Frazier. Uh, my wife and I have lived in Charleston now for about 26 or 27 years. We were both, both born in Logan County. I was born right outside of the town of Mann and graduated, was raised in Mann and graduated from high school at Mann out of a family that had all kinds of coal miners, uh, union coal miners, salaried folks, supervisor personnel. So I've been in coal mining or around coal mining all of my life. Uh, my wife and I live in the city of Charleston. We're in the city limits. And in approximately 2000, my wife, through an associate or some folks in church that we went to church with, uh, found a piece of property that uh, she decided, then we decided that we would buy and uh, build a home up on Mount Alpha Road. Now, in that process, there was an article in the Charleston Gazette that said the water in the, uh, what's that creek we live on? Right. Rush Creek, in the Rush Creek watershed was being sold uh, to um, a gentleman by the name of Mr. Scholl. And there was a question, um, uh, Paul, uh, no, Ken Moore Jr. wrote the article, Mr. Ward asked, well, what kind of mining is going to go on in Rush Creek? And he said, oh, it's a little bit of auger mining and things like that, but not mountaintop removal mining. Nothing like that's going to go on up there. Now, I have that article from 2000, if any of you want to read that, because I saved that uh, concern me about the mining in Rush Creek. Now, if you don't know where Rush Creek is, if you leave here and go south on Interstate 77 or up Route 61 toward Marmette, when you get almost to Marmette, about half a mile before Marmette, Tiny Parsons has a big, large Ford dealership there on the right. And at the up end of that Ford dealership, you'd never know it unless you look for it, but there's a road that turns off Route 61 and goes down through a railroad overpass into what's called Rush Creek. And I've been told that there are three forks in Rush Creek, a left fork which heads over toward Hernshaw, a middle fork that goes toward Canal State Forest, and the right fork that comes up where we live at, on Mount Alpha Road. So my wife and I, had a house built there in 2004 and uh, it was quiet and just so peaceful and it was a great place to live for four months and then there was a notice on our door that said uh, basically you know you're within 3,000 feet I think of a blasting area and you're entitled to a, a home survey and things like that and, and what we found out was that uh, this augering and so forth in the Rush Creek watershed was now mountaintop removal and it was coming to visit us. So uh, we uh, contested the permit at that time and, was, uh, and we were able to arrive at an agreement with the coal company such that the mining wouldn't be as bad as it was going to be under the permit. And since that time, then the coal company through their mining process and their rotations got, uh, got closer and closer and closer to us. And I have a number of pictures. We'll look through those real quickly, or at least some of them. And, and I want you to understand now, all these pictures were taken off the deck of my home in the city of Charleston in Kanawha County of uh, what we've put up with for the last, basically the last two years. So if you queue those up, Yes, yes, just go on through. Okay, stop right there. This is just 
when you stand on my deck, you can look to the left and you see several ridges that have had the trees removed. They've been leveled, coal's been taken out, and then the stone and the what was left over the refuse is stacked back up. This is to the left, and that, that's just one of the shots that was put off within the last several years. There are people who live under that dust cloud. So it drops down on people in the right fork of Rush Creek, okay? stand on my deck and look to the right, you look up into the hollow. That's all I've ever known it as. Yeah. Into the, or the holler. Holler. Yeah, That's exactly right. You look up into the hollow to the right and this is the type of dust that was produced when the, when the uh, blast was put off. Okay, now. Okay, have we looped all the way around? Okay. 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 That that's fine. Now that's the dust that we've put up with the last several years after we reached an agreement with the coal company. Now, I want you to understand something, okay? The way I look at it is that's partially our fault. But that's the best agreement we could reach with the coal company. We spent, my neighbors and I spent a tremendous amount of money on attorneys and witnesses and so forth, but we were able to at least do our best to preserve what we could. And then I'll share this with you. Our reward for doing that and our reward for being cooperative as we thought we were being and trying to live with mountaintop removal and trying to, you know, save jobs for the coal company because that was always in the conversation. Our reward for that was in January of 2013, the coal company filed what's called an amendment to the permit. They wanted to take the amendment they already had and add something to it. And that something to it was they wanted to come out from behind the trees and the things that we could protect go all the way up to the left side of the hollow, cross the face of the hollow, and then, then come down our side of the hollow within 300 feet of the closest house. So, uh, you know, we were cooperative and there's your reward. Uh, now, now that amendment has been pending before the Department of Environmental Protection for basically about two years now. My neighbors and I basically did the same thing. We offered our comments, we offered our objections to the DEP. There was a final conference and since then we've been awaiting a decision. So we're not finished with mountaintop removal on Mount Alpha. At least we may not be finished with it depending upon the the DEP decides to do. So uh, that's, that's what's happening over on Mount Alpha as opposed to what's happening at, you know, with the Canal State Forest and that permit. So I appreciate, as someone said a few minutes ago, every one of you being here today. You know, this has been a heck of a winter in Charleston and it's a beautiful Saturday and we could be a number of other places, but I appreciate you being here and uh, being interested enough to uh, want to know what's going on in your community. Thank you very much.